Hey guys, welcome back. I've uh, found another tragedy from the hurricane. I haven't had to use this media PC, the one that usually sat down there. Since before we left to evacuate for Hurricane Matthew and we had the electrical issues in the house, and I believe we have found another problem. Uh, I went to start this up because I wanted to clean it out some and do something else with it. I was gonna put it in the house for the kids to watch just Netflix and YouTube on. And when I went to turn it up, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, turn it on, I mean. And I believe that the problem is this power supply. <music> It's not doing anything. It makes a few weird clicking sounds on the inside, and after that, nothing. I'm not getting anything on the main board. I'm not getting the fan to spin up or anything. So I took everything apart, took it all out, and this isn't an easy task with this being a small form factor mini ITX case. And uh, the power supply in question is a Seasonic 500 watt fanless um, power supply. And I have ordered another one to replace it. So we'll see if we can get it up and running. Uh, if that's not the problem and it is something else, I needed another spare power supply around here anyway. If it does fix it, great. That would be awesome. And uh, we'll continue this whenever the power supply gets here. All right, so my power supply finally came in. It is an EVGA 500 watt, 80 plus white, and we'll get it unboxed. So, I'm really missing my other camera right now, to be honest. It's not modular. I didn't believe that I had to have a modular power supply for this build. Even though it's a crimp ITX case, uh, mini ITX, it's not that hard to get the wiring to stay clean enough to where it doesn't get in the way enough. So, here we are. Nice little looking power supply. I don't quit, I quit dropping it. <laughs> oh, it's been a hell of a week. All right, so I'm going to hook it up to there and we will see if she boots. All right, so I got the main stuff, the 24 pin connector, the CPU connector, and the power to the SSD and the hard drive hooked up for now. <clears throat> uh, it's basically everything that goes and stuff with the PCI PCIe cables. I'm gonna try to boot it without the, the graphics card that was in it, because I don't think I wanna put the graphics card back in right now if they're just gonna be watching like Netflix and stuff. I might have to put it in for it to recognize it eventually. But I'm going to see if I can get away with not doing that right now. And then we'll see what happens. Um, got my mouse over here. And let's see if you can, if I can get a better view and see what happens on the screen. Well, I finally turn it on now. So here's the power cable for the power supply. Plug it in. All right, I got a light on the keyboard, which is good. Um, <clears throat> let me check the camera again. All right, so let's see what happens. Uh-oh, so we have power on this time. We do have a power on. I got fans going, the power supply's running. I did not have video, not yet. Uh, let me make sure everything's plugged in correctly. Let me reset the monitor and see if that does anything. I do have a mouse that stands stable. So it could just need the, the graphics card back in it that it had in it. So I'm going to put that in there and we'll see what happens and see if we can get video. Alright so I changed my mind. I did a CMOS reset on it. I took the battery out for about 15 minutes and then put it back in to see if I can get it to where it would recognize the onboard graphics as being 
the main graphics processor instead of the graphics card being the external one. So I want to see now what it does and if it'll boot correctly. So we'll hit the button. Yes, so now we do have, I don't know if you can see it, the screen here, let it focus. I do apologize, I don't have my good camera anymore. Uh, CMOS, date, time not set, press F2 or delete run setup, press F1 to continue. So, I'm just going to press F1 for right now. see what comes up. Again, I apologize for the poor quality. This thing doesn't... I'm actually using my broken S7 Edge right now. Shooting up from here and see what happens. Not a problem. Alright, I did another reset on it. It says press F2 or delete to run setup. So let's just go ahead and press F2. Alright, so in this we have a Pentium 3258 3.2. I think I had that overclocked to like 4.5. Uh, the specs on this are all screwed up. Processor speed. No, it's processor speed is at 4.2, so it kept my overclock. Hmm, now let's see here. It looks like I have 4 gig stick and a 2 gig stick of memory in it. I think my other stick got messed up. Let's see, boot. I know it's hard for y'all to see this, and I do apologize again. Uh, Where's boot priorities? It says Intel SSD. Let's just hit save changes and exit and see what happens. Because it was saved for it to be an SSD. Starting back up. The light turned blue. Alright, we got the regular setup screen now. Ah, oh, now it's wanting to go into Windows. That would be amazing. I really hope the only thing messed up on this was the power supply. I could live with it just being the power supply. Cool. So, yes, we do have. Our screen back up. Terrific. I don't have internet to it right now. I do believe I have an internet cable over here though that we can test that out with. I want to make sure that everything is like it should be. Let's hook some internet up to it in there. Come on, focus you dumbass. Alright, we got Might take a minute for it to recognize it. Uh-oh. Computer froze. So what does that tell us? Did I hit something? Something's still out of whack. Something's still out of whack. I gotta figure out what that is. Why did you freeze? Why did you freeze? Hmm. Okay, it looks like Windows didn't load correctly. If you let restart and try again, choose restart my PC below the OS. See if it's repair option. Let's just restart it and see what it does. Or have to get into any kind of repair. 
you know, the good part about it is, is that the computer's working. As long as everything with the hardware is fine, I don't mind having to reload the software if I have to. In fact, I'm probably going to end up doing that anyway because I'm going to take all the stuff off that I had on there before and just make it a bare bones something that they don't have to worry about getting into programs and stuff and they'll just get on the internet with. Alright, so let's see what this does. We have internet. We have Google, YouTube, oh, it kept me signed into YouTube, cool, let's see, um, what do we want to do here, I just want to see the stability and start a video and see if it'll actually play without a graphics card the way I want it to, um, uh, I've been looking up cameras to get we'll just pop this one on I'm not gonna full screen it or anything but I'm gonna see what quality it does to get up to make sure that I keep moving the mouse around all right skip the ad skip the ad nobody cares about the ads everything seems to be running like it's supposed to nothing seems to be getting too warm the new power supply is doing its thing it's chugging along not sure who this guy is i just saw his, one of his videos about a camera on there so it was on my recommended list but yeah so now it seems to be doing its thing i've never had a problem out of this computer it was actually a really really good build except for that build Except for that one RAM stick that did go bad on me. That's because I used used memory. Um, it wasn't brand new when I bought the motherboard and the processor. I got really excited about that, uh, what was it, the 3852? Uh-oh. Okay, it might just be uploading the driver. See, I don't even know if the graphics drivers for the motherboard are installed because I've always had a graphics card. But that Pentium Anniversary Edition, the one that you could overclock, so I bought one of those with a mini ITX board because I've always wanted to have a mini ITX case. You know, with this Cooler Master, it's not a bad little case. It actually pulls air very well. Um, this thing's never overheated on me. And the first, the only two problems I've had so far is that piece of RAM and then this power supply that went out. Uh, I used that fanless one because I got it out of another piece of equipment that messed up at work, but it had that power supply in it. And I wanted it to be as quiet as possible when I used to have it hooked up as my media streaming for the server in the house, but I've upgraded that since then. So yeah. It seems as if this thing should should work. I'm gonna let it run for a little while and then get the case put together and then I will let you know an update. So I got the case put on. Uh, it's not the simplest task with these little small form factor cases, but it's in there and all the wires are out of the way of the CPU fan and stuff. I got all of my I.O. reconnected and the power plugged back in. And we're going to go ahead and turn it back on for one more verification test. Alright, so we got it to, to boot up. I put a movie on for a little while and watched a few YouTube videos just to make sure everything was running like it was supposed to. Here we go. Awesome. So as you can see, turn the DP up a little bit. We have Thing up and running with the case on ready to go so I will be putting this in the living room for the children to watch their Netflix and YouTube on and bringing the gaming PC that I used to use in the living room it's an older one um, out here it needs to be cleaned up see if there's some upgrades we could possibly do to it 
Uh, if you feel that I rushed through some of this, I kind of purposefully did. I wanted to get this thing finished. Uh, my other camera broke, so I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to when I went to do this initially. Uh, but I do have two more PC videos coming out very soon. One's fixing my oldest son's computer, uh, which we'll get a little bit more in depth with, and it's going to feature him in the video. And then another one's uh, another PC that I have at my other son's house, and it's an older quad core, core 2 quad, and it needs to be um, reconfigured and cleaned up and see what we can do with it. So. Stick around for more technology videos because I got a lot more coming out. Again, we'll just have to unfortunately get used to the phone camera for a little while. So I do apologize about the quality and the shakiness and uh, focusing. It's not something I really can help right now. But if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, leave a thumbs down if you hated the video. And we'll catch you in the next one.